Fact is a form of preservation. Ron Pickering, artist of Prince Edward County, strives to sustain the nature of his subjects within his paintings. Once you uh, do any uh, artistic um, activity, I think your view of the world, particularly if it's a visual art like painting, you do gradually change your whole way of looking at the world. An artist's eye can see beauty in anything while their brush can bring it to life. You begin to see it in terms of the world, in terms of colors or in contrast, so that the ordinary uh, passerby who isn't uh, so inclined uh, would see a barn as a gray barn where the painter or the artist would see many, many colors in it and interpret it that way. Uh, and contrast is another where you see the lights and the darks in a given subject and, uh, and paint it so that that's sort of pronounced. This is a sort of a painting that is uh, illustrative of that idea where the this doesn't amount to much unless the contrast of the deep red tree uh, chairs is against the light sky and that in, to a degree is even uh, emphasized in imagining it as a painting. Mr. Pickering paints many subjects which are native to Prince Edward County. It fuels his inspiration and drives his artistic creativity. Well, uh, originally I was always inclined as a kid to drawing, and I loved the drawings in history books and so on, but uh, classes or instruction wasn't readily available, so it was a little difficult thing to get into. But eventually I took some classes starting at um, age 40. And uh, so the inspiration was always there, and I just became inclined towards uh, painting certain subjects that uh, like old cars or old abandoned buildings that seem to have character. I continued painting and uh, it grew into an activity over years. Of course, I was pressing myself to paint uh, a wide range of subjects and I consider now that I, can, I am interested in and I can paint almost anything from landscapes to seascapes to uh, florals to still lifes to portraits. In at the Lake of the Mountain is a historical old limestone building. Uh, this is an area of uh, limestone. Prince Edward County is an island which is actually a great big hunk of limestone and the people that bought it and have made it what it is today uh, bought a deserted motel that was there and they converted that into their residence. Beautiful uh, um, inn, 
uh, situated on the lake of the mountain, which is uh, 200 feet above the surrounding Lake Ontario Adolphus Reach Bay of Quinty Waters, and is uh, about 350 feet deep and has a chemical mix that matches Lake Erie. So it's quite a, a, an interesting body of water and had a, a lot of uh, folklore attached to it from, uh, uh, from the indigenous peoples uh, that were here before us. County Cider uh, is interesting. I would say, just say for a subject point of view, that um, uh, the County Cider Company grew from a family who bought a relatively famous century home. Century homes are sort of uh, historically important and appear in magazines and so on as theirs did with a magnificent view south uh, over Lake Ontario, but the um, house included uh, at least two barns that were lovely old um, stone barns, and they became the basis uh, for the cider company, originally as a tasting room, then as a restaurant, and now as an, an added tasting room in the other barn as they've expanded the restaurant. I have a personal connection because just around the time when we built our log house here in Prince Edward County, Grant started the uh, Cider Company and uh, became actually the first uh, winery in uh, Prince Edward County that now has some 30 or more wineries and is uh, quite a, not only a large industry and unto itself but a tourist attraction. So uh, Grant was the pioneer in that field, and for those reasons, it's of uh, great interest. Somehow, I think um, an artist in in creativity is is drawn to certain uh, uh, subjects. Um, the old cars have always really uh, attracted me. I'm interested in cars in general, but um, I just find the, the old truck or the old car in a field where it, there's no road to it or anything, uh, how it got there and uh, the miles that it traveled uh, just gives me the right feeling. While many of these subjects may wither away over time, Mr. Pickering's art will preserve their beauty, nature, and pleasant memories.